هاي توداي ده نموذج استرشادي نمبر 4 ليتس جو تو 46 كويشن ديفايدد انتو 3 بارتس ذا فيرست بارت اباوت تشويسز كويشن ويز وان مارك اند ذا سكند ويز تو ماركس اند ذا لاست بارت اباوت ذا اسي كويشنز ذا اسي كويشنز may be one parts or two parts. Each one uh, uh, has marks. The essay question with two marks. 45 and 46 in the number of the question. Let's go. Choose the correct answer from one to 32 with one mark only. Let's go to question number one. Question number one, speak about what is the similarity between the pulling movement in B and the pulling in corns? One of them above the ground and the other under the ground. Let's go to see what are the choices. The first one, A, providing protection and support for the plant. That's the first choice. The second one is direction of movement of plant stem in both. Direction of movement is not the choices. Number C, formation of similar support tissue. And D, the mechanism by which the pulling process takes place. So the answer must be number A, providing protection and support for the plant. Both are providing protection and support for the plant. One of them above the ground and the other under the ground. Let's go to question number two. Question number two, there is a graph. We must study the graph well before we go to answer or before we go to read the question. The graph is speak about the lactic acid, concentration, and the time. We uh, see here the lactic acid concentration increase and then become stable by the time pass. Let's go to read the question. Question number two, the graph show the concentration of lactic acid in the gastro uh, cinemas muscles. What can be concluded from the graph? Where are the gastro cinemas muscles? They are inside uh, the um, digestive canals. That's the muscles inside the digestive canal. So lactic acid increase in the muscles of the digestive canals by passing time. Let's uh, read the choice and uh, go to choose one of them. The person suffer from the painful muscle spam. Uh, painful muscle spam means uh, uh, that uh, contract in the muscles uh, suddenly. The amount of ATP is sufficient to separate the transverse lengths. Uh, not not go to ATB. The amount of oxygen is not sufficient for anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration here is the point. So let's read the last one. Did the muscles stop contracting and relax, relaxing? No, the, the muscles will go to contract here to make the muscles spam. Uh, so um, there are two types of respiration, one of them aerobic respiration and the other anaerobic respiration. The aerobic respiration needs oxygen to complete and the anaerobic respiration uh, doesn't uh, um, contain more oxygen to go. So the answer must be C. The amount of oxygen is not sufficient for aerobic respiration. That means the increase of the concentration of lactic acid. So the answer must be number C. Let's go to question number three. Question number three, what is the main factors who absence affect in the occurrence of muscle contraction? Which of them are absence which affect the contraction? Number A, the arrival of nerve impulse from the brain and the spinal cord, it will affect, yes, it will affect. Number B, the return of the muscle fiber membrane to the state of polarization. It's not uh, when absent is effect in the contraction. Number C, 
the excite of potassium, exist of potassium ions out of the muscle fiber. Uh, the potassium ions uh, or the potassium ions affect and in contraction. Let's go. The disappearance of the potential difference on the both sides of the muscle fiber membrane, uh, the answer must be number A. A, the arrival of nerve impulse from the brain and the spinal cord is will be the answer. Will it absence the muscle the muscles contraction? It will be affect. Let's go to question number four. Question number four, vertebra number 15 is connected to the vertebra number 16 through there is the question about how the vertebra are connected connected to each other the vertebra must connect it by four articulate four joints two of them is and two of them is let's read the question first the choices, number A, cartilaginous joints and two upper articulate process. Uh, is this enough? No, it's not enough. Cartilaginous joints and two lower articulate process, it's not enough also. Two upper articulating process and two lower articulating process. Let's go to read the, the last one. Cartilaginous joints and two upper and two lower articulating the process, the answer is number D. D, cartilaginous joints, and two upper and two lower articulating process is need to connecting between the vertebra number 16 and the vertebra number 15. Let's go to the question number five. Five is, speak about the scientists. Scientists, uh, is, uh, we are grateful for the scientists for making many searching and many experiment in the biology. Let's read the question and then answer. Scientists were able to know many functions of the hormone and the glands, but how we know about the hormones and the glands, how the scientists know about them. Let's read the choices. Number A, studying the anatomy, of the endocrine glands, it's very important. Yes, that's very important, but uh, not uh, all the, the, the answer. Number B, studying the location of the gland in the body. Yes, they are studying the location of the body, uh, the glands in the body. Studying the effect of glands extract on the body. It must be the answer because it will affect uh, to the hormones and the glands and the secretion and the function. Uh, so we'll read the last choice, studying the size of endocrine glands is not affected, um, but it's affected in many diseases in the hormones and the glands. So the answer must be the studying the effect of gland extract on the body that make uh, the scientist give a decision, a decision for how the gland and the hormone work. So the answer must be number C. Let's go to the question number six. Question number six, speak about the exocrine gland and endocrine gland. Yes, they are a very important part. Hormones again. Hormones here, which hormone activate an endocrine gland, exocrine gland? exocrine glands. I will uh, discuss how we compare between exocrine and the endocrine gland later. Secret, it's secretion outside the body. Let's go to exocrine gland and the endocrine gland. They are different type of glands. Uh, exocrine gland means it's a uh, duct gland which secret their uh, secretion in a cavity and contains a duct and opening. But endocrine gland uh, they are work silently or without duct and the secretion um, is directly in the bloodstream. So this hormone means endocrine gland. Secret to activate an exocrine gland to make the secretion outside the body. 
let's go to uh, read these choices. Number one, gastrin, it is a, a hormone that affect to secrete its hormone inside the body. Sec secretin, that's either inside the body. Uh, prolactin, it is uh, activate the mammary gland to secrete the milk outside the body. Number D, cholecystokinin, it's effect in the gallbladder inside the body. So the answer must be C, prolactin hormone is affect the mammary gland to secrete its production outside the body as a milk. So the answer must be C, prolactin. Let's go to question number seven. Question number seven, antibiotic hormone, ADH hormone, cause septum similar to diabetes. In case of its deficiency, except all of them are similar between insulin and the ADH, except one. Number A, increase urine volume. Yes, they are increased the urine volume in each insulin and ADH. Increase sugar level in urine. Let's speak about it later. C, decrease osmotic pressure of the urine. Yes, they are, do. Increase thirsty sensation because of uh, increased urination. That means uh, increase the thirsty thirst uh, sensation. I need more water. So the answer must be increase the sugar level in urine. ADH doesn't make this, but insulin do. So the answer must be number B, increased sugar level in urine. That's the answer. Between comparison between ADH hormone and insulin hormone. Um, insulin hormone as uh, it affect to make the diabetes. So let's go to question number eight. If the sporangium of bread mold, bread mold is a fungi, contains 100 spore, 100 spore mother cells. How many spores does the sporangium produce? The sporangium here is divided mitotically. The, divide, the division mitotically is produced two cells from one parent cell. So we have here 100 spore mother cells. So what each of them produce two cells. So 100 times two, it make the answer 200. So the answer of the question must be 200 because they are divide mitotically. Let's go to question number nine. Question number nine speak about the production of a spore again. But the spore here is not for the bread mold. The spore here is at Plasmodium malaria. Plasmodium malaria has two hosts. The first one is the human being and the other one is mosquito. So let's go to read the question where does spore production occur in the life cycle of Plasmodium malaria? He asked here about the place of formation of spores, where the spore production occur. Number E, in salivary gland of mosquito. B, inside the human red blood cells. C, in the stomach wall. D, inside the human liver cells, where the spores are found. The spores are found in, this is the life cycle of Plasmodium malaria, where the spores are found, they are found inside the stomach of, stomach wall of mosquito. The stomach wall of mosquito here in the stomach wall of mosquito, they will produce the spores. Okay, let's go to question number 10. Question number 10 here is uh, discuss, discuss the characteristics of endospermic seeds. 
characteristics of endospermic seeds means, let's uh, read the question fourth, which of the following is a characteristic of the endospermic seeds? Number A, all are monocotyledon? No, they are, there are two types. B, all are dicotyledon? No, they are two types. C, are monocotyledons and or dicotyledon? Yes, yes, they are. But we must uh, read the, the last one. All are grains, not all of them are all grains. So the answer must be are monocotyledon and dicotyledon. They are endospermic seed. Endospermic seed has two types. Monocotyledon has one cotyledon only. Dicotyledon has two cotyledon. That's the answer. The answer is number C. C. Endospermic has contains the two types. Monocotyledon and dicotyledon. Let's go to question number 11. 